Hey YouTube, what's up? This is the Reluctant IB back again. News and views, views on the news. And I want you to recall something. Remember this BAW? You know, she like, yeah. She bragging about her welfare daddy, the white man. Because he put her on. Y'all remember her? Well, before we get into that, let me greet everybody real quick right off the top. Havard and Hardu, Gudag, Ola, Oe, Tidabain, Vasas Los, Bonjour, Mes Amis, Kedu, Bawani, Konnichiwa, Ni Hao, Ni Hama, Sani Bonani, Jambo, Havard, Gani, Assalamu Alaikum, and Shalom. Remember how braggadocious black women were about, I don't need no man. Man can't do SH for me, because she had... Welfare Section 8, right? Remember that the only man they need is a thug. The one that can get her the weed, the drugs, all right? The good men that ain't for that, that's trying to build up the community, no, nah, F them. They don't need them because they don't need no man. This is the black woman. And for the ones that try to get a man, in this situation, they're like, oh, we want you. We, we want to run you. All right? We want to run you. So, yeah, we effed up our lives, but we want to be the head of the family so that we could F up yours too. And they get mad at the black man when he ain't having that. Many of those women told the black man, that brother, the, the Afro-Indigenous man. Oh, you need to go get you a white woman. All right? When they found out, oh, yeah, you smart. You ain't putting up with my BS. Yeah, you need to go get you a white woman if you want to be treated right. If you want to be treated with dignity and respect, you need to go get you a white woman. How many brothers have heard that before? Come on, let's be honest. That a black woman, come on you brothers, the, the hardworking brothers that was that sought after the black woman, right? But the black woman always wanted to destroy him. And in the midst of not being able to destroy the strong-minded ones, their charge to them was, you need to go get you a white woman. See what I mean? See, these women have been treacherous. They have been traitorous. They have been treasonous. These BAWs, yep, been treacherous, traitorous, and treasonous. Yep, the Triple T crew. Not to be confused with the uh, um, Triple S crew. And I know some of y'all remember this woman. It, let me show you who she is for some of those of, uh, for those of you that have forgotten. But first, brothers, let's get those thumbs up. All right. Somebody is hacking, hitting at my channel hard. So, brothers, if you want to see these videos, get the thumbs up. I'm serious. I'm not saying that I'm not going to stop. I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to stop making videos. I'm saying that when I make them, Google is actively preventing subscribers from seeing the videos of the content creators. They're picking and choosing what gets seen and what does not get seen. All right. So. And the, the way they have their algorithms set up is pop culture at the head. And anything that's a niche, they don't want on YouTube anymore. That's what it seemed like. Now, they'll tell you they want the small guy on there, but they're lying. How do you know they're lying? You look at their actions. All right? So let's get those thumbs up because there is a correlation between the number of thumbs up and whether or not somebody will be able to see the video. 
So brothers, get these thumbs up. Past 100, way past 100. All right? Now, let me remind you who yeah, our little friend is. I want to give a shout out to my kids, Real Daddy. Thank you, government, for putting me on. All right. Look, look, notice all this stuff, that the freak hair and stuff like that. The boss, she's a boss with a boss jacket. But who's the, who's the person that put her on? The government. I mean, you was the definition of a real father. Because when your kids is hungry, they have food stamps. And she's the definition of a real 304. All right, because instead of choosing a big, a, a good man, she chose Pookie and Ray Ray and them and then expected them to be a good man. Oh, but no problem, because she know how to run game on the government. And she's the reason why, well, you'll see what's happening next. Yeah, we shop at Walmart. Yeah, we shop at Publix. We shop at Winn-Dixie. When your kids need shelter, yes, you have housing. And you also have Section 8 for a lot of us. And when our kids fall, get hurt, or sick, they have Medicaid. Yes, we go to the ER, we go to the walk-in clinic, and we also can make a doctor's appointment. I get their prescriptions with no hesitation. Now, if that's not the definition of a real father, making sure your kids have food, shelter, and health care, I don't know what it is. So, like I said, thank you, government, for being my kids. It's daddy and thank you for putting me on all right so she thought she said something right the only thing she did was expose how much of a 304 she is she also exposed the problem with hud housing welfare and all of this and notice she got all this junk on her hair she went out bought her a boss jacket she got earrings on she got all this stuff Right? That's why her children don't have SH. Oh, the other reason why her children don't have SH? Because she chose an SH man to be the baby daddy. Why? Because in her lifestyle, the man that could bring her the, um, the most drugs, that's the man she's going to choose to be the baby daddy. That's all it is. He don't have to have a place to stay. He don't have to have a job. He don't have to have benefits. Oh, no. Because she was waiting for the government to put her on. This is the same kind of B.A.W. that's mad at the good man for not sticking around to put up with her B.S. This is the same um, B.A.W. that when um, a good man roll into the picture and might try to. Well, let me let me back that up. No good man is going to roll into her picture and try to holler at that with the fake blonde weave with the piercings all over her face. And stuff like that with a stank attitude like that. No, we go in the other direction. She's the one that'll cuss us out and say, well, go get a white woman. All right. And so, well, what's the fallout? I wonder how she think now. I want That my boy is in there doing stuff. Right? Now, people's like, man, Carson's family grew up with all of this stuff. Yeah, Ben Carson knew who his mama was. And then he knew what he decided to be. He figured out that to get to where he is now he had to leave the ideas of her of his mama alone so yeah you could say his black mama was on welfare and, and if it wasn't for that 
No, he realizes that he's an anomaly. Because of his black mama, he realizes that most of the children don't end up like him. You know, like most of the children in two-parent household where they have a strong male figure that runs the house. No, that's almost non-existent in the, in the black family. And he's tired of that. Right? He's seen it firsthand. He's seen how these BAWs game the government. Oh, y'all don't get it? The reason why a black man can do this, I don't know if he's an Afro-Indigenous man, but let's go with black. The reason why he can head this, because he's seen all the games these BAWs played on men, on his daddy, on other fathers, on dudes that came around that were good men but didn't get to raise their children. Oh, he's seen it all. He's seen all the games. He's seen the serious, but he's seen that most of these BAWs was running the system and running it up, exploiting the system because they could. You know, like the Me Too women, they're exploiting this situation, getting um, dudes fired and, and taking out agendas because nobody want to be what they stank behind and say, oh, uh, this um, powerful man... Yeah, he harassed me. He created a hostile environment. What do you mean hostile environment? Well, he expected me to do work at work. Oh, we need to put him in jail for expecting a woman to do work at work. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, needless to say, Oh, they put they put the kibosh on my Tavis Smiley video. Just wanted y'all to know. So go check that out. Alright. So all these women that told the black man he need to go get somebody other than a black woman. Alright. Here's the thing that's coming up. More and more black men are getting non-black women because she's nice the non-black woman is not controlling yes they are but they are trying to be controlling like a woman if you stand up and be a man you see what i'm saying if you stand up and say no this is the way it's going to be and they understand that this is the way it's going to be then that's how it's going to be she does not like to argue she does not insult your intelligence Matter of fact, they appreciate you having intelligence. Understand this. These women appreciate you having intelligence. She does not try to emasculate you. She does not wear fake hair. In fact, black women pray to wear her hair. She is much less stressful and much more helpful of a helpful teammate she's simply a better option for you and this is to the brothers right now this is when the BAW start looking for good men single mom looking for wealthy men must make your make over 2000k annually have a big D and willing to relocate wait a minute <laughs> The complete opposite of what I just read. She's making demands with somebody else's child. All right. She's making demands with somebody else's child that she want another man to raise with an income that she does not deserve. And instead of her being willing to relocate, she's telling him he needs to relocate. Inbox if this profile fits you. She will need proof of D size and income. Wait a minute. What man 
in his right mind would want a 304 BAW like that. No one that's working hard for that kind of income. You see this woman, you want run the other direction. Talking about she need proofs of your, of your D size. That sounds like the women up in Washington State. All right. Ridiculous, right? <laughs> no pun intended. All right. What's going on with women? Oh, they're about to catch some hell. Because every time they think that a blessing fell into the um, to their hands, it's squandered. Why? Because there's no man. This is the repercussions of no man. I got the government. I got it big, right? I know how to um, rig the system. All right, this Hamilton Lottery win winner fritters away 10 million Toronto Star. Why? Because she had no man to direct the cash. And she ain't going to put no man in charge of her cash because she's going to be like, it's my money. So it was her money. Nine years after cashing her $10.5 million check, Hamilton Lottery winner Sharon um, T, uh, Tyra Bassey is catching the bus on her part-time job so she can support her kids and pay the rent. You know who's not there to help her support her kids? Because she has kids, not children. Oh, a man with a job. See, a lot of these women were hoping for the lottery. They were hoping for the government. And even if they win the lottery, that money leaves them and they get more headaches and hell than they know what to do with. All right. Come to find out that that woman that had the ticket that um, won the lottery, she was not the one that bought the ticket. Her boyfriend that she kept bailing out of jail to the tune of $21 million was the one that owned the ticket. He just gave it to her to cash. That's why she's doing everything she's doing. All right, so you got to give the thug props in that. He found him a woman he could use. All right, and he got a side chick and everything, and she can't do nothing about it. Hmm. Wait a minute. Here's your next problem with Section 8. No voucher, no vacancy, no help. The cruel realities of Section 8. They forgot no man. <laughs> All right. I put this is me. They forgot no man because she thought she didn't need one. All right. So the people that wrote the title, no voucher, no vacancy, no help. The cruel realities of Section 8. Yeah, they forgot no man because she thought she didn't need a man. Marilyn Thornton, 56, of Fullerton, displays her expired Section 8 voucher after five months, months of looking. Un she was unable to find a landlord who would take her rent subsidy. She waited 15 years for getting her voucher, which she had for, um, which she had for 13 years. It's a long wait for vouchers, but they're quick to take you off, she said. But wait a minute, you didn't need no man because you knew you was going to get the voucher. And this is the sneaky little secret that they don't tell you. When I was living in my house when I was in the military, I let a woman come stay with me. Um, it was a friend of the family in that we, she and I wasn't friends, but her children sang with me and the girls. We had us a little group. We were so good that we got a little payment for it, and I would take them out and all kind of stuff, right? When they lived with me, they were tearing my house apart. Now, the other thing that happened when they decided to stay with me, the mom got really, really lazy
um, the mom got really, really lazy, and she decided that, um, you know what? I'm going to just sit on my behind and not do nothing. Well, that did not sit well with me, right? And I told her, straight up, when a black woman come into my house that I know that I want to help, they have a 29-day policy not to start thinking about getting out of my house, to be out of the house. I'm on, it's only a break. See, I understand in the state where I live that if I go past that, that woman might be able to, um, you know, what do you call it? Just sit in my house, right? And I was like, no. And so I drove her around town. I helped her get Section 8 by driving her to the place. She filled out a form. For one, she couldn't get it in the place where we were. All right? And for two, it was hard to find landlords that would take the Section 8. I'm going to tell you why. Black women effed up Section 8 so bad with their bad children and bringing thugs into the community that the landlords did not want to bother with it. All right. So she had to sell all the apartments were filled and she had to go to houses. Housing, the people that own houses don't have to take the voucher. And many will not now because it's not worth it. Even though they say it's guaranteed money, they know it's not guaranteed because these women move in with their families, their children and wreck the house. They bring drug lords in, drug gangs in, and these single women have been decreasing the value of neighborhoods and people got tired of it so you can get a voucher that don't mean somebody will accept the voucher all right so now they they pray into jeebus i need help with my bills i'm not even going to fake the funk i'm tired of being independent well, no, 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 no. See, she misunderstand the concept of independent. Once you decide to be independent, swear off the good men, kick them to the curb and everything, and then let your body go, have children by all these thugs and stuff like that, then you get to be independent for the rest of your life. You should be. That's the price you pay for being independent in the beginning. Jesus, I need you. Oh, she can marry Jesus. That's the solution. B-A-W's. You all can marry Jesus, but only one of you can marry him. All right. Jesus, I need you and I need a companion, um, a husband, somebody. I'm not complaining. I'm being honest. It's hard out here for a single woman with kids. Y'all keep fronting. I'm being 100. Right. The problem is she shouldn't have been a single woman with one with kids. Oh, I bet you she hit all them dudes up um, that she had them children by with child support. I bet you she did. All right. She hit them up with child support. So, <laughs> welcome to the HUD family secretary. Carson. Right? He is going to fix the hell out of this. Like I said, he knew the game that black women were playing and these medias are trying to make it seem like a sad day. But it's a great day if you're uh, if you've been a hard working man and you got tired of these black women using you be thought because they thought, oh, I'll use the mess out of him. No problem. The government's going to back me. Yeah. How's that working out for you? All right. So, hey, it's over. Call it a day. It's over. Call it a day. It's so bad it had to end this way. <laughs> bye bye, B A W 304. You can go and close the door behind you. Yes, get out of my house. Yeah, it's over. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. All right. Don't forget, click that bell. Then click the gears and um, 
and say that you want the content. All right, with that said, I'm out, people. Oh, my donation link will be in the description box, along with my email.